Firescape Engineers Inspector Summary Video. Here we are in Boston, and this is the um, Greenville. Um, I think it's number 24. This crossover balcony is the biggest issue on this. As you can see, somebody has attended to the cement issue. I do, I do see some rebolting of the railing system, so the new fasteners have been brought into play on these. Um, so the only concern that I have left on this that's really going to talk about in the disclaimer but I see no major evidence but the grading is the spacers typical spacers that are 50 to 75 years old and those need to have a, a waiver of liability because they open up they're gonna grab somebody's foot um, so I don't see any evidence on these so this fire escape could pass as long as we can get that waiver otherwise what you want to do is on these gratings either swap them out or put the space put the uh, reinforcement bar underneath this and then that will allow this Farscape to pass indefinitely into the future since you've changed all the other fasteners. Any questions? Farscape Engineers, inspect the summary video, 866-649-0333. Engineers inspect the summary video. Here we have a fire escape here in Boston. It looks like the fire escape has been has evidence of new bolting on the treads, on the rails. There's a few that they missed, but structurally you get at least 95% of all the connections got done. What they didn't do, which wasn't required back then, but is required now, is really about the grading, the spacers, and the tread spacers is an issue now so we can avoid the liability question. Up against the building, some of the cement, which is not very well done, has some issues, but I see about 25% issues with the cement. What they did here, when you look at all the cement, this huge patch really is not nothing, but you're gonna have to come back, because about 25% of your cement, especially on the top bracket is important, but that, that, that excess is nothing. I don't, you know, that's just poor, poor workmanship because the work, the, the, the connection is inside, about four inches square. The rest of this is just excessive. I don't know why somebody would do that. But again, you're looking at all the bolts. They sealed, changed all the bolts on the connections. But you still have spacer issues on the grating. So if you want some more life out of this grating, some more life out of these treads, my only concern is that these spacers don't open up and a foot gets caught in between. 
So as you can see, grading of this age. Swap it out, or if you want to save it, which you can, save grading and treads. Just put in a reinforcement underneath. So you can spot repair with somebody that has a license, knows what to look for, and then do this every five years. Just keep fixing what is, you know, what passes the hammer test. Or do them all at one time and you avoid this five year issue. And just come back and make sure that none of the bolts were left behind. Because sometimes, even though they change all the fasteners out with new 316s, as you can see, sometimes they do leave original hardware in the connection. So identifying the original hardware, which is square heads, is pretty easy. Um, but again, the main concern, see, spacer issues. Spacer issues on the treads. They let, go of that, they let go of this flat bar in the front, and that's when you fall forward. So that's what you want to concern. So spot repair the treads, identified through a repair and a hammer test, or do them all and avoid. So that's good, the grading. Okay, the last piece is this cantilever. This cantilever unit is not properly functioning. When, when that cantilever goes down, it doesn't hit the ground all the way. This release arm interferes with the C-channel down below. So this needs to be reconfigured in a different way so that it goes this way and when you go that way it releases it in its entirety. So something else is going on here. This is not fully working. I'll go down right now and it won't go all the way down to the ground. Again, all the treads have been changed so there's no need to change bolts on any of these treads but tread spacers and grating spacers is the main concern on this fire escape and some, some cement. So see it doesn't go all the way to the ground. She's about two feet off the ground. So currently this is a life safety issue or a concern because if it ever does let go, this last two feet, it's, it's a shock to the system. Otherwise, I have to step down. And as you can see, there's over a two foot clearance. He's up there, he's gonna be basically putting it back into play and then we're gonna use that ladder. But right now, she won't go all the way down to the ground. She is balanced backwards. She's supposed to drop, not go up by herself. So that so we need to rebalance the cantilever and we need to work that release arm which right now he's he's adjusting it to, to basically lock the system into place. She is horizontal but she's reverse she's reverse weighted. She goes up by herself. She's supposed to come down once released. All right now he's just gonna do this. The weight box has been sealed. So the cement very sloppy but at least 25% of the cement needs to be looked at again, chipping, cleaning, and if possible, if you can get the, a little bit of the cement off the wall, that'd be great. Otherwise, clean it and seal it. Whoever comes back should be spot painting. Firescape is in, is in good condition as far as the spot. Remove any, any original hardware that was left behind inadvertently, but structurally, she's over 98% uh, done structurally. So it's really some uh, issues with the grading, treads, some minor cement, and she's ready to pass also. Any questions, Farscape Engineers? Inspect the summary video, 866-649-0333.